and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Orzov Thran. That's right, we got a donation deck here that's built around Fall of the Thran. And so this this saga, six mana saga, step one, destroy all lands. That's a pretty sweet step right there. So that's what we're really going after. We're trying to destroy all lands. But then step two and three, each player returns two lands from their graveyard to the battlefield. So you, you know you get like two of your lands back, and then you, uh, then the next turn you get another two. So you have like four lands come back. So that's not so great if you're just trying to destroy all lands. That doesn't seem really worth it. Well, what if, in, you know, like so the lands come back from the graveyard. But what if they didn't have any cards in their graveyard? Hmm. Maybe they wouldn't get any lands back then. So yeah, we got the Fall of the Thran, Leyline of the Void combo. So Leyline of the Void, if a card would be put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, you just exile instead. So we're just going to have this out there. This is just going to be chilling out there. Any card that goes to our opponent's graveyard gets exiled, including all the lands that we destroy. And then we go Fall of the Thran, destroy all the lands. They don't get any lands. We get some lands back. Um, they don't. <laughs> so that's what our deck's going to be about. So we'll see if we'll see if we get to work this out. So besides Leyline of the Voids, we also have a bunch of Ashioks. Because Ashioks also, uh, you know, like we can have Ashiok on the battlefield, and then we follow the Thran, and then we uh, exile our opponent's graveyard also with Ashiok. Um, so that's that's another uh, combo there so to get their lands exiled. Uh, we also have a couple of Kayas that can exile some cards from the graveyard. It only gets two, though. So it Kaya isn't as as useful, but it's it's Leyline, it's Ashiok, it's Fall of the Thran. Are we going to be winning a bunch with this deck? Maybe not, but this seems like something pretty fun to do. And yeah, hopefully we get um, hopefully we get paired against like a Scapeshift deck with all these Ashioks <laughs> in here. So no, no Remorseful Cleric. Just going with, with Ashiok, Leyline of the Void instead of Remorseful Cleric. Cleric. Besides that, we have to actually win some games. So we have like Karn in here as our card advantage engine uh, to help us like find Fall of the Thran and and you know help us uh, keep hitting a bunch of land drops and all that kind of stuff. And it just kind of you know we get a bunch of cards with Karn and then eventually win with Liliana and Ugin. These are our main win cons. We can also win with Kaya. Kaya is minus five, especially if we have Leyline of the Void in play and we exile like if they get to exile a lot of cards or like Ashiok exiles a lot of cards also then maybe Kaya's minus 5 that deals damage to target player equal to the number of cards that they have in exile. And this could could do a lot of damage with Kaya here as well. Um, so that's that's another way to win the game. But besides that, we got a bunch of removal, a bunch of sweepers and yeah, we're going to try to blow up all the lands. Um, <laughs> so that would be We'll see if this actually works. Um, in the sideboard, we got a fourth Ashiok. So against control, we can also kind of go for kind of go for a mill plan. Try to mill out their win win cons with having four Ashioks. Also, um, that could kind of be a thing. Um, and of course, Gideons are coming in here against control to help us out. Like whenever we don't need all these sweepers to be able to do some damage. But yeah, whether or not this deck will work is yet to be seen. I like a good fight. We're going all oars off though. We got our Kaya sleeves, our Kaya avatar. And hoping we're hoping we get to paired against Scapeshift and we get to blow up all their lands. We're hoping it works. Let's give it a try. This is we got some jank here. <clears throat> oh, I thought I thought maybe that Arena was like, we're not actually gonna pair you against anybody with this jank. We are our deck's not really like a bully deck. Um, it just has like a a sweet combo to destroy the lands. Um, I do not think that we're favored to defeat an Esper control, but we're gonna try, and it's gonna be sweet if we do. Ooh. 
Ooh, getting rid of the Kaya. Yep, as usual, Matchmaker throws Esper Control against against Jank. The deck like filled with mythics. Put that against Jank. Double thought erasure immediately. Alright, here we go. Ashiok's a good draw. Get rid of these things. Ooh, Deputy of Detention. Alright, so this is a hero build. Deputy of Detention out of there. I like getting that Contempt out of there, too, for our Ashiok. I mean, hey, we got the Fall of the Thran, and they already used two Thought Erasures. Maybe we can pull this off. We got Ashiok Fall of the Thran. Okay, very nice. I like that. Get that Dovin's Veto out of their hand. And Absorb? Stop playing all these counter spells. That's not countering Fall of the Thran, so that's good. Come on, draw a land. Draw a land for us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please resolve. Please no counter spell. Yeah, they, they look like they may be... If they got Absorb and Dovin's Veto over here, they... Probably have a ki a, a counter spell. <gasps> it, it resolved. Oh, we're doing it. The lands are gone. They're exiled. Uh -huh. We did it. The nightmare. No lands over there. All right, they get a land. All right, we'll return two of our lands. Um, oh, do I wait a little bit for? I don't know if I need to minus this Ashiok again. <laughs> yeah, worth the donation already. That's. We're not really doing anything else, but that was cool. All right, now we got Liliana. All right, so Leyline of the Void, I can minus the Ashiok. Behold, my dreams dissipate like smoke. There goes a Teferi. Uh, temple, look for land. It's not a land. Just get rid of four. Just get rid of four more cards. They're down to 24. They gotta, gotta kill us before that. Yeah, Ashiok. Ashiok has a really, really loud voice. Darn. Ooh, another Ashiok. Mill him out. There goes a Dovin's Veto. Yeah, they cannot flip us, Kanta, but... There we go! Mill them out! Destroy the lands, mill them out! Oh, what a great deck. What a great deck. Alright, Duress, Gideon, another Ashiok, an Ugin... Um, maybe an Elder Spell or two. We're going to take out these Kai's Wraths, take out the Cry of the Carnariums. We do have to worry about Deputy of Detention. So we saw some Deputy of Detention. Let's get out the Kaya. That kills Deputy of Detention. Get rid of Legion's End. Get rid of one cast down. I'm not sure about Despark. Despark basically only hits Big Teferi. Maybe we trim a Leyline of the Void and a Dispark. And another cast down. Alright. 
Oh, they did have a Liliana, that's true. But I mean, I'm bringing in the Elder Spells. So, like, I'm, I'm kind of going with that with the Elder Spells there. <laughs> this deck is pretty evil. No, Mortify is good. Mortify destroys Ascanta and can destroy the creatures like Deputy of Detention. So, Mortify is good. I'd rather be playing Mortify than Cast Down. Chemistry's Insights, they're... I mean, that and Teferi are, like, their better cards. I'll just take the Narset. Like us to draw one of our three mana Planeswalkers. We got four Ashiok, three Gideon, two Kaya. I'll take any of those. I guess I could have taken Elder Spell to help protect him, though. Oh no, getting punished. Maybe I should have taken Elder Spell. No. Flew mill over four lands. Okay, three lands and a Liliana. Not bad. Including all three all three of them white sources. That's good. Yeah, Ashok really does need to chill out with the voice lines though. <laughs> it's just too loud. I think it's good, but it's just too too loud. Ugin. I know more than you would learn Even the two lander against the land destruction deck is a little sketchy. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. See like Ugin's voice volume there, like Ashiok should be like that volume. Is Fall of the Throne even worth it? Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we got Ugin out here. Wait. Yeah, I thought about paying two life and elder spelling, but we could just attack. Secrets manifest 
before you. <laughs> Ugin, Ugin destroys the fall of the three ends so that it doesn't go to the second chapter. Fall of the Thran. Truth lies beyond vision. <laughs> we did it. We did it, Chad. Our, our Fall of the Thran deck won a match. Beat up the control deck. <laughs> this deck's awesome. Oh, the Thran's pretty sweet. All right, let's see if we have an opening ley line. Ashiok honestly looked really, really good those games for us. All right, no ley line. Got good removal here. <laughs> that just made your day. There you go. Yeah, everybody getting excited and Twitch chat's helping. That's uh, feeling good. Um, let's see. I do. This is a weird card to put to the bottom because we're gonna want to hit land drops to get to Ugin. But we, it's the, you know our third pl basic planes. We do have like double black cards with Cry of the Carnarium and Kai's Wrath and stuff like that. Ashiok. Mouse with the tier one sub. Let's get some hype in the chat for Mouse there. Thank you so much. Any more Leafkins over there? No more Leafkins. Just have Risen Reef, Tamio, Nissa. Just a perfect hand over there. That's it. Not much. Just a perfect hand. Not much. Alright, I don't think we're winning this. Tamio and Nissa are really hard to beat. All the Thran is. Pretty good against Nissa until Nissa ultimates. Rise, my elemental friend. Need Elder Spell. Leyline of the Void's really good against Tamio. If we just draw something for the Nissa, like if we draw Elder Spell, like we're good. Oh, unless their other card is just Krasis. Why why not? Why would it not be Krasis? Yeah, why well, why would it not be Krasis? Just just the best card in the format to have. Yeah, if Nissa ultimates and makes all their lands indestructible, indestructible. All right, we need more Elder Spell, more to Spark. Could be another Ugin to take out Nissa. Um. Could be playing duresses. If they have Tamio in play, duress doesn't do anything. 
But no, maybe play another two Elder Spell into Spark will help. Um, I do like I do like Layla in the Void a lot against Tamio. That's pretty good. I'm not sure about taking Cry. So they'll have like Paradise Druid, Llanowar Elf, and Risen Reef. The Cry of the Canarium, those things is pretty nice. I kind of think Kaya out. They don't have any... I guess they have, like, just Land War all for one or less. I guess Kaya can... No, no, it's probably Kaya out. I'm thinking about just going this here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this here. Yeah, Duress could could come in. But again, if they have Tamio in play, remember Duress doesn't do anything. Um, Duress can also just whiff early. Like, they have a few targets that are really good Duress hits, but not... I'm going to just try to be more reactive. I think this is a mulligan. Just two six drops, two four drops, and two lands. I think that's a mulligan. This is definitely a mulligan. Jeez, come on, deck. Two land, one land, one land. We have 26 lands in here. How do we get two land, one land, one land? You serious? No, I don't, Herman. Right. I don't draft on stream. Just all standard. All right, well, Karn. Could get us some card advantage back. Well, there we go. Gotta hope for no Nissa here. They would kill Karn, but I don't. I don't want to just use Kai's Wrath on just this one Ceratops. Whenever you know we're only sitting on a couple of cards. Yay, no Nissa. And now, hopefully, they just play a creature. Just play, play like a mana creature or two. Play a couple mana creatures. There we go. That's that's fine. Cycle. I do not feel pain. How convenient. An excellent choice. Okay. Karn getting us our cards cards back. Through this land, we are all connected. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Farewell, and thank you for the lesson. The land will not forsake you. <laughs> yep, always got Nissa. That we 
which nightmares themselves will I went with the cry of the carnarium there first to see if they countered that. Yeah, we were on a mold of four. You're not scared no! Come on. So I needed Ashiok in play, you know, before Fall of the Three and. I'll return. Uh. Why you slumber. Boo. Man, it's just no nexus. Come on. Uh, I guess it's not game. I just said good game, though, so I should concede. But darn. I just had millions of cards, though. It wasn't likely. The first, that first negate on my Karn after I, I mulled a four and just keep a hand of a couple lands in a Karn with mulling getting to four. I need that Karn to resolve and everything and they negate it and it was really rough from there. Yeah, London Mulligan rule does help. Yeah, we mulled the four and we we were, you know, pretty competitive there. You know, we had some some good hands and everything. You know, we had a good hand and played magic, interacted. London Mulligan rule does certainly help. So th yeah, why'd I keep Crowther Carnarium? Because they have Llanowar Elf, Paradise Druid, and Risen Reef. See, so they have like 12 creatures that are good to Crowther Carnarium away. I'll keep that on top in case something happens with, to the other Karn. Dispelling phantasms makes me feel good. Good riddance to bad rubbish. I mean, I guess I just have to dispark Aurelia. It's not a very good turn for me. I, you know, I regret keeping the car now. Could have just played. I wish I would have had to spark for that thing. Could have just played the car and let the car die. Dig, a, dig for a card. This Rex, thank you so much for that feet. sub. Six months now. You are awesome. This isn't a fight you can win. Keeping that hype going. Thanks so much there, Rex. No, I am not making this up as I go. All 
our ninth sub of the day. We're almost there. Good, get us some lands. We need land drops. Hmm. Oh, I've done. You know a card we haven't drawn very much of? Kaya's Wrath. We haven't drawn very many Kaya's Wraths here. Why do these things have to have three toughness? Anyway. Good choice. Two, a couple games in a row here where we're just sitting with Cry of the Carnarium and our opponent's just sitting with three toughness creatures. It feels bad. But they also they also are playing Hero Precinct 1 where Cry of the Carnarium's good there. I'll just get rid of it. Tired of looking at it. I think this is a matchup like where I really want to rest. All right, here we go. Yeah, I don't know about Belhan. Like, they had just all those flyers. Like, besides Hero, like, everything else is, like, they just had a bunch of flyers, and they're playing Imperion Eagle, too. Like, they should have, like, Dovin, I'm expecting. So I'm getting an extra Elder Spell in there. I, I don't think, I don't think I want Belhan, because Belhan doesn't block flyers. Not a very good hand, but I don't want to mold a four again. That dress is bad against some flyers. They have like, you know, like Dovin and the that flash card deploy. Do Dovin and deploy dress is pretty good against those. But I think post board, like they're gonna have more interaction, like more counter spells, kind of thing. Like I'm expecting a bunch of like Dovin's vetoes and things like that. Oh, that's not a good draw. <laughs> oh, you thought Bell Hunt had flying? Yeah, it does. Does not. Oh, come on. Legion War Boss is in here now? War Boss is going to kill me really quickly. I get rid of that thing. Where's Kai's Wrath? Why can't we ever draw Kai's Wrath? That's why. Just chilling right there. 
Because, you know, I couldn't duress with Shalai in play, of course. All right. Never mind. Dresses are not looking good. Cry of the Canarium, much needed. Did not sideboard very well. Lightning Stormkin. I mean, this this gets me Ugin. Is Ugin even good enough? No. Kinda wish I waited a turn on that Kaya's Wrath. Now knowing that they don't have any counter magic. Yeah, a, a two two blocker leaves us dead. Yeah, definitely. That's kind of frustrating, you know, like whenever your opponent just plays a bunch of cards that you're not expecting after sideboard, and I just didn't sideboard well against them. Like, I took out Cry of the Canarium against a deck that's just playing a bunch of war bosses. Like, wow, I got <laughs> I got destroyed there. Um, but yeah, that's that can happen. Um, so we went one and two. And <clears throat> four Kaya's Wraths honestly may not be enough. I know, like, the... So, like, this was, like, an original... Like, the original donation deck that was sent to me, but the, the person wanted me to, to work on it and, and you know, change, change stuff up and, and tune it and everything. Had um, Cry of the Carnariums as well with the Kaya's Wraths and then, like, Settles in the board also. But kind of playing against like those those creature decks there, I kind of feel like I wouldn't mind having a cleansing nova or two to go along with the Kaya's Rats. Um, or Ritual of Soot, that's not bad. Yeah, Ritual of Soot wouldn't be bad. Maybe that'd be better than Cleansing Nova, because again, just costing four, not five. I'd say probably the worst card in our deck was Kaya Orzov Usur Usurper. I did not like the Kayas. I liked the Ashiok. I liked the Ley Line. I don't like the Kayas. I think that's where I would go. And I, I think we have enough to win with like the Ugins here. Ugins and Karns and stuff. I think we have enough to win and just Ashiok milling them out. Yeah, I think we have enough to win. I don't think those those Kayas were not good. So like maybe maybe a, a ritual of soot and then like another like oath of Kaya. Maybe get Hmm. Yeah, I like the Ritual of Soot. I mean, it it honestly could be Cleansing Nova for enchantments. if Because if you play against, like, I don't know, some enchantment heavy deck. No, maybe just Othakaya. Maybe a, maybe a Mortify. I'm not sure what I want to do with, like... So basically we have we have a, a slot here that I would want to play some kind of removal spell. Um, could be another Elder spell, another Dispark, another Mortify, another Othakaya. All, all the decks are on YouTube. Yep, put them all up there. Yep, there you can find all the videos on YouTube. Treasure Map is a good one. I definitely consider Treasure Map. The problem with Treasure Map... Um, Prison Realm? I don't hate it. Could do Prison Realm. I don't hate that. Get the scry one in there too. I don't hate that. 
All right, I'm I'm good. I'm I'm for that. I don't hate that. Yeah, get a present Roman here. Can get rid of a, a Nissa or whatever. Um. So yeah, a couple things. Uh. So yeah, definitely thought about treasure map. To like treasure map, like, uh, you know, the scrying is really nice. Help you hit your land drops. It flips over into a land, and uh, draws you more cards. And then I realized, wait, it flips over into a land. And we play follow the Thran. So we just destroy the treasure map land. And then it doesn't come back. And I was like, that doesn't really work very well. But yeah, I, I wanted treasure map originally. Uh, I think I think I'd rather have Prison Realm than Ixalan's Binding with this specifically because of how heavy our four drop slot already is. Like this deck, we already have just millions of four drops. Um, I, the other card is I didn't put any Noxious Grasps in here. I didn't really find room for Noxious Grasps, but that's, that's of course a really good card against Nyssa, but you know, we have like Disparks and Elder Spells. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not playing Noxious Grasps. That, that could be, that could be a card to, to fit in here. Also. Yeah, settle the wreckage could work. I mean, the the problem is, is every like, if we're playing a lot more instants, it could be worth it. But it it would just be like like pretty obvious settles, and people can play around it and everything. And it's just not a card I'm too interested in playing, honestly. Um, but yeah, we got to do some pretty cool stuff there. Like that that match against Esper was really nice. Um, this this didn't feel so bad. Like this felt pretty good. But yeah, Ashiok was awesome. Ashiok follow Thran is, is really cool. We gotta keep that battlefield clear though. So honestly, maybe it is just maybe it is just two cleansing novas. Actually, that's what I would do. I would play a ritual of soda and a cleansing nova. I think you do just really want sweepers. Whenever we're playing like these cards like Ashiok, like Ashiok, Leyline of the Void, Follow the Thran, these things aren't they aren't like interacting like very much with the opponent. Like we're not we're not taking like these don't trade for any cards per se immediately. Leyline, Ashiok, follow the Thran. Um even like Karn just kind of comes down and, and just draws us cards and stuff, but it does seem like you really want a lot of sweepers because you're like these cards aren't like taking a card out of the opponent's hand or you know, killing a creature or anything like that. And so you want like two for one, you want mass removal. Uh, so you can, you know, you can play these things that don't affect the battlefield, uh, don't affect, like, the creatures that your opponent's playing, and then you sweep it up. Um, I'm not sure, like, maybe two Cleansing Novas, uh, but Cleansing Nova, again, like, if, if they are playing a lot of enchantments and stuff, it could could still could still be nice. Um, you know, you're playing against a, a Nexus deck or whatever. But yeah, so we'll get one one Ritual, one Cleansing Nova. Take out those Kaya Planeswalkers. The Kaya Planeswalkers was kind of nice against the Esper deck, though. Like, they were duressing away those. So maybe this is just sideboard, actually. Yeah, yeah, that Cleansing Nova sideboard. Yeah, you, yeah, that's a sideboard card. Uh, main deck. So let's, let's get one of these other cards in the main deck. Either another Elder Spell, Dispark, Gideon, Oath of Kaya, or Ashiok. One of one of these cards goes main deck. That that we can't have that many sweepers against the control decks in the in the main deck. Flurp style getting us to the tenth sub of the day. Thank you so much there, Flurp style. I I'm not interested in playing Orzhov Locket. Um, I don't I don't think you want or I don't. Yeah, it's it's not strong enough for standard. Yeah, we could have a low a low curve value creature to block. Um, that's kind of Bell Bellhunt's kind of the best one, which is which is kind of a problem. Bellhunt's the best, like if you if we just want like this creature that, to block and stuff. Bellhunt's perfect. The problem is Bellhunt costs four, and so does everything else. 
that's kind of the problem. But could move away from Karn and just like an option is not playing Karn, just playing Bell Haunt and Ashiok and Ugin. The problem with not playing Karn is like hitting your land drops though. Karn does a really good job of hitting your land drops and getting up to like the six mana cards. Um I think I would go I think I would go like another Oath of Kaya main. Oath of Kaya is still good against the control decks because it kills Narset and Teferi and, and stuff like that. So I think that's what we do. So we're going to replace the two two Kayas in the main deck with an Oath of Kaya and Ritual of Soot. And then with that Oath of Kaya from the main, we get a Cleansing Nova in here. So there we go. Try this out, uh, Ferguson. I donate for it. Try try this out. Let me know how it goes and everything. Tell me like if you're struggling against anything with with this 75 here. But kind of like where it's at. I like where it's at. So there we go though. That's or Orzov Thran. Um had some, had some holes uh of course. Um <laughs> But uh it was still really sweet. We had that really sweet match against Esper. Worth it for sure. Um, there we go. All right, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over here. But that's Orzov Thran. If you want to blow up some lands, give this deck a try. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.